A sea of blue new at 10. Hundreds of law enforcement members filled the streets of Crittenden County in honor of a man who gave his life to protecting and serving. Earl Police Officer Kalen Jacobs was honored with a memorial ride one week after he died. Good evening, I'm Chris Carter. The Osceola native died while on duty last Wednesday. Arkansas State Police said he suffered a major medical emergency while on patrol and crashed his car. He died at the hospital. Alejandro Hernandez was in Crittenden County for tonight's memorial and has how the officer is being remembered. Hey, good evening, Chris. Yeah, this parking lot is empty right now, but just a couple hours ago, it was completely full of law enforcement vehicles. You, you almost think you couldn't fit a car in here. Now, this was the site where a candlelight vigil and a memorial was held for Officer Kalen Jacobs, and a sea of blue also started here. That went to the police department and to Parkin, where he served as a part-time police officer. I got a chance to speak to some of those people who knew him and the town that he represented. This uh, sea of blue, he would have loved this. He would have been smiling ear to ear. Oh, it's wonderful. It was a night full of love and blue lights for Kaylin Jacobs from his brothers and sisters in blue. The Earl Police Sergeant lost his life on November 22nd while responding to a call. On Wednesday, the police department held a vigil at Earl High School. Jacobs' sister, Kiani, was there. To have so much support from the community, from everyone, life he impacted, to, it's just nothing but love, I feel comfortable. I feel okay. This is what he would want. The parking lot was full of law enforcement from departments nearly 100 miles away. Others a little closer, like Parkin, where Jacobs worked part-time, and whose dear friend, Chris Miller, works there too. It had been rough because me and Jacob were close. And when you call a leader, Jacob was a leader. Miller said he spoke to Jacobs the day before he died. To Miller, it was no surprise that some departments even drove in from out of state to honor his friend. That showed a whole lot that an officer with that love by so many counties, even Tunica County came out here, Tunica, Mississippi. Jacob's sister said it was a great to wave to every police officer during the Sea of Blue. She also said being a police officer was the only dream her brother ever had. That was his dream since a kid he had fake uh, handcuffs, fake guns. He lived it from the time he graduated till Last Wednesday, he was loving everything about it. He loved it. He loved it. In a couple of days, Sergeant Jacobs will be laid to rest. His sister says she hopes everyone will remember the person he was. He was kind, open-hearted person, because that's what he was. That's what he was sweet. Now, the Earl Police Department is a small department, but they were all able to be here tonight. They said that they were very thankful to the Crittenden County Sheriff's Office, who was able to take calls around town while they honored their fallen officer. In Earl, Alejandra Hernandez, K8 News. Such a powerful memorial. Thank you, Alejandra. Funeral services for Sergeant Jacobs will be this Saturday in Osceola. Jacobs was 34 years old.